everybody, Rusty Ground here. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We're uh, in front of Crow's Perch at the moment because uh, we need to go and talk to the Baron's Sergeant to, to, tell them, to tell him that we want to take Uma. Now, I know that in the previous episode I said that I'll be going to craft the, um, the Ursine armor, the uh, enhanced version, the up uh, upgrade, sorry. But uh, we don't have the level yet uh, to wear it, so I think I'm going to wait until we actually have the level. It's not much to go. A few quests and we'll, we'll get to level 25. Um, and I'll show you the armor then. If you don't know what it looks like, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. The, the first uh, level and then the second one. But now, let's, let's try, to, try to have a chat with, uh, with Uma here. I wonder why we're telling we're talking to the Baron's sergeant and not to the Baron himself. Huh. I also managed to sell a bunch of stuff from uh, from the inventory here. Just cleared up uh, some some space. Um, so uh, yeah, we now have enough space to do whatever we want. I think. So let's see here. What's going on here? Why? Where's the Baron? Why can't we talk to the Baron? Why do we have to talk to his sergeant? Whoopsie daisy. Ah, Witcher! Greetings! Hello there. Baron's not here. Rode off to find a healer for the wife. Naturally. Oh, I see. Okay. I know. I thought he would see have returned or something. The gates. What do you mean? Baron left me in command. Told the boys to set things right. Put them in order. The new order. Oh my god. Okay. So They're murdering and pillaging. That is the new order. And I don't give a flying fuck if you like it or not. Where is he gone now? Okay. Um, Where'd you come from? I don't like this. So basically, the Baron left, and now uh, his second in command does whatever he wants because he is technically the ruler. Oh, oh, wait a second, wait a second. If we're here, just give me a second here. Since we're here and we have a stash, let me show you this. Uh, let me show you this. Where is it? So, one. Um, two, come on, three, one, two, three, four, I need to have four, right? So, four, chest, boots, pants, I need to have the pants, where are the pants, here we go, the pants, and then the silver sword, and the Ursine sword. Okay, there we go. I'll show them to you right now. Come on. Like that. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. This is the first level of, um, uh, for this armor, right? And I just crafted it so I can upgrade it. So here we go. This is it. In the light. It looks a little bit worn. <laughs> See there around the belt and the, the chest. Just a little bit. But um, yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. I like I mean it looks pretty badass. Uh, I kinda need to go. Let me see if I can go outside for a second. Um, yeah, here we go. See? Like it looks it looks good, I have to say, it looks good. But uh, I told you before I looked uh, I looked on uh, on the internet and I I like the wolven armor, the way it looks more. So looking forward to actually finding that. Um, and we have the we have the maps for it and so on and so forth. We just need to get to Kermorhan because that's where it is. Okay, now let's uh, whoops, not didn't want to do that. Let's put back our feline armor set like so. And then let's put this thing back here. 
because this is just for safekeeping and actually if I'm here let's put this and this and maybe even oh crap I didn't even look uh, to see I think I'm using the wrong yes I am the Necker warrior trophy which gives me 5% chance to find additional herbs the hell I don't need that I totally forgot that whenever you kill um, you whenever you get a trophy you um, it actually automatically uh, replaces your existing trophy so the ones that the one that I had chance to dismember 5% bonus for humans and non-humans I think that's what I was using 5% bonus we don't have a 10% bonus do we no we don't so okay bonus to gold experience from monsters bonus experience from humans and non-humans yeah we're gonna go with the wraith trophy and everything else I'm going to put in the stash if I can of course yes I can right yes perfect let's just put this here I think I, sh I should sell these trophies at one point but I don't know we'll see okay cool now let's continue <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's he's already taken uh, the Baron's uh, like quarters, hasn't he? There he is. Need to talk to you. About? I'm here to take Uma. Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Oh, you're gonna be an asshole about Not it, about huh? Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you. You can try to stop me, <laughs> but that'd be an error, a mortal one. <laughs> Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Uh -huh. Thank you kindly. Okay, tell the person mining the stables that you are taking Uma. Okay. Anything else uh, new around here, though? Just give me a second here. Just looking around. Actually, can I talk? Nothing, here for, you. Nothing here for me. Gotcha, buddy. Anything else I can take from you while the Baron is not here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go talk to the person mining Uma. Looks like uh, that person is in the stables. We know where the stables are because we actually had a had to rescue people from there. Is the is it the stable master? Uma. There we go. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Oh really? Okay, I don't think he means it in a good way. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that one of your Witcher games. Oh, burn. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Okay. Open the door. <laughs> now. I'm actually not sure if he meant it in a bad way or in a good way. The distraction thing. Okay. Hey, little guy. Oh, look at it, look at it. Jesus. This here is Roach. They made him look like a... Like a jester or whatever. She'll take us to care more. Well, come on. Uma looks a lot like... It reminds me of... Um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. The... Uh, the... The... Um, Cartoon. Oh my god. Um what the Whoop. Quit playing around. Let's go. Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. Oh shit, this is not gonna be good. 
What is it what now? Do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. What? Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Oh, sure shit. about that? Okay. Don't even try. What if I do try? Fine. Lead the way. Damn it. I was hoping for some action here. But okay. Let's talk to to the king. I'm sure he's not happy because we basically like uh, went and followed all, all his leads and we didn't find Siri or at least like yeah to his knowledge we don't know what happened to her. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bandlin. If I may, your Imperial Majesty. Our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. Oh, As Yennefer is here. Hello, Yen. Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Uma. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. Um okay, I'm just going I'm going to go with, with it. It's no point in as you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I gave you three solid leads. I knew it. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. Wow. I have to say, before we continue on with the discussion here, I think the the king is the most imposing character we've met so far in the game like in my opinion uh i i really like him i don't know i mean like i like him as a character don't get me wrong um you know i don't like him like him but i like his his character is it's he's very he's a he's a strong character in my opinion and i like the way it, he's uh, he's portrayed um I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Siri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my bosses. Who helped her get to Novigrad, where Siri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, Ran into her elf companion there. And into the wild hunt. Again. Siri and the elf fled. Out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day. With only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use. Though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. <laughs> At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, 
You've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Of course. Ooh, 2,000 crowns. Oh, shit. I don't intend to bring her here, and or so be it. Ooh. I have no idea. I, I really don't intend to bring her here, because I, I really don't know what we'll do. We need to talk to her first, once we find her. Um... Damn it, I'm gonna go with it like now for now, like this. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. This went uh, better than uh, I was expecting it to go, to be honest. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Artusa called into the Dean's office. <clears throat> I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, <laughs> We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. Okay. So, you said you know how to lift the curse? So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Of course. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. Mm-hmm. See you there then. This long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So we took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. And so we get to Kaer Morhen. One week later. Wow. She teleported there in an instant, and it took us a week. Oh shit. Whoa! Oh there, Roach. What the hell? Fork tails this close to the fortress? Someone's been slacking off. Wow. Look at this, guys. Jesus. Quite a while. My hello there. Too long. <laughs> and your journey, how was it? <laughs> Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Mmm. <laughs> what have we here? Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip, and is this... <laughs> now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them. Oh, did she? Whoa. Yen's here already. And how? <laughs> you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a 
well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. <laughs> but do manners count for nothing? <laughs> she teleports in. Not even a nice to see you jumps right into a we've a curse to live. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. Okay. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she. Oh, snap. Ah, <laughs> now I see. <laughs> it's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. Oh yeah, I bet she hates the oak furniture. Yeah, that's the the main reason. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna back her up in this, but I hope she's gonna tell us, at least. She's gotta have a good reason. Huh. More than one, most likely. In any case, she's set her mind on something. Needs us to stay out of her way, mostly. Mm -hmm. And uh, where is everyone? So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Mm -hmm. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. <laughs> I should let her know I'm here. Yeah, we should go to see her. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Okay, Vizimir. Talk to you later. Let's uh, let's go help uh, Yennefer fix the megascope. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll talk to Lambert and Eskel. Yeah. To hunt the Forktail. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. So the Forktail that we saw... We will have to hunt it. That's that seems fair. I think I like that. Okay. Wow. Woo wee. This looks wow. I think we need to go. Let me see. Okay, here we go. We can do that. Take the shortcut through here. Oh yeah, definitely like this place, even though it looks a little bit like, you know, it's in shambles. Okay, Lambert is there. Let's not talk to Lambert yet. Let's, um, let's find Jennifer first. Okay, she is upstairs, okay. Whoa. God damn it, you piece of shit! Uh-oh. Uh, uh oh is right. <coughs> Hello, Yennefer. Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. Yeah, I can see. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. I see. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. Okay. The guys, well, they're not exactly happy with you. <laughs> <laughs> to Why say that? the least. Because you you're... aren't willing to say what you're planning. Yeah. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Why wouldn't you explain things to me now? Hmm. You got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. 
So I'd rather keep certain things secret, for the time being. Pretty tortured logic. It may seem that way now, but you'll understand in time. But, okay, that's... Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Um, yeah, I'm going to get into this. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. Damn! So upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? <laughs> Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew. Okay. But that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Wow. Yes, I know. You'd lost your memory. Whatever. Wow. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Okay. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. There, she was very direct with that. <laughs> okay. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. Which is? As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. Mm -hmm. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Will you tell me who you're planning to contact? Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly. A sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not-so-sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. <laughs> Thank you for your permission. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta what? Potesta... <laughs> Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. <laughs> Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. What? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Oh. <laughs> okay, Yen. Okay, should we find the guys? Find talk to Lambert. Let's talk to Lambert. Cause he's down there. Downstairs, I mean. So maybe we should talk to Lambert first. And then we will have to we'll have to find Eskel as well. But let's see what Lambert has to say. Yeah. She was very direct about uh, the bed. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't expecting her to be direct, but yeah. Hey, Lambert. How are you? What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Oh, sh he Says hates it's her. <laughs> essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Mm-hmm. Realize that monstrosity, as you put it, might be Siri? Yeah, I heard. Mind showing a bit of sympathy? I call him like I see him. That's how I am. Hmm. Irritating, you mean? I thought you liked people with bitchy streaks. Oh, so long as they're wow. women. 
Then you found the best of them. Jab after jab after jab. The circle of elements awaits. Oof, okay, Lambert. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? Uh, not yet. Can I... Okay, here we go. Can I do some stuff Gotta take before? Care of something. Wait for me. Sure. Okay, return to Lambert when you are ready. Aye, aye. Alright, now... Um, find Eskel. But he is pretty far Okay, we cannot see him anymore. Huh. Okay. That's not good. Um, one second, then. Disturbance. Can we track that? Oh, it's here somewhere. Find the... the do, 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 do. Okay, so... Let me see now. Can I just... Do I just have to... Equip this thing? Yep, I have it equipped already. Okay, so what do I do now? Okay. Oh. Signal's growing stronger. Oh, here we go. Whoa, Necrom ne Necronomicon, what the hell is this? To think that men appeared on an empty world and gained mastery over it unchallenged is as foolish as thinking the world will cease to exist after man's passing. Before the first human set foot in our world, it was inhabited by beings superior to men in terms of wisdom, strength and every other virtue. The, the beings I have in mind still exist in our present time, though they do not exist in a sphere available to human understanding. They occupy no dimension known to us where they live... Uh, where they live where they live can best be described as a space between worlds at times one can sense their presence through a sudden unknown scent or a strange feeling or of anxiety with no apparent cause a wind which blows in several directions at once is another example of their subtle manifestation in our realm there exist various Im imagi imaginings of what these creatures might look like, yet these have nothing to do with reality for man is incapable of con conceiving something which he has not seen even in his wildest nightmares. The greatest horror these beings bring comes precisely from their uh, indefiniteness and lack of concrete form, yet it would be a mistake to think that a formless creature is necessarily harmless. The power they possess is sufficient, is sufficient to lay waste to a forest, level a city or whip an entire sea into froth and waves. Today man is master of the world, but only for a short while. They await patiently and will soon arise and regain their one-time glory. This is as certain as dawn follows dusk. And dusk then follows again soon after to drown everything once more in darkness. Okay, uh, what am I supposed to be doing here? Can't be far now. By the looks of it. Don't tell me so, it's Uma. Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Yes, she did. Oh man, it's Uma. Can we talk? Oh, wait a second, what? I'm looking for Siri. Ashen hair, scar on her cheek. Seen her? How can I help you? 
Mm, we're not going on. You think universals exist as real and distinct entities, or only as mental constructs? <laughs> so do I. <clears throat> okay. We're not gonna get anywhere for now. So long. Okay. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Yes. Whoa. What is it, Wolf? Sorry. Uh. Um. I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Cadwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in ballads. Not much left of that world. I know, Vesemir. I know. See you later, Vesemir. Okay, so what am I... Uh, getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. This? Mounted witchering just never took off. What? I don't get it. Ah, there you are. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. What? This... Crate? What Disturbance is coming from there. The hell is this crate? What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. Mm -hmm. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves. <laughs> Just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. <laughs> Thought so. Okay, so we found the disturbance. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Okay, let Yennefer know you removed her disturbance. Okay, let's go and talk to her then. Whoa. Look at this. What the hell is this thing? Is it a foglet? I think it's a foglet, guys. Okay. Or an Ekimara, is it? I think it, it might be an Ekimara. Okay. Let's, uh, let's talk to, to Yennefer. Her megascope should be working now because we removed the dimeridium bombs, which basically stop magic from working. Ah, see? I think it works. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? Um... <laughs> no, he probably knew, but that's the sort of prank you only pull on someone you like. You don't suppose he... Lambert? Really? <laughs> I'm flattered. Okay, Yen. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. I'll try. Didn't you just say you trust me? <laughs> Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Oh, shit. Um... Kednell and Severn. Why have you summoned me? Okay, that was We've the right answer, apparently. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fe le len, ked mil folie. 
Gledev don eptenid bondro isne iacus. Oh shit, that's not good. Recognize the dialect? Lathan undod. Meaning? The so-called one speech, a forgotten language dating from before the migration. The migration? Later, Geralt. What the hell? What what migrate? Okay. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends. Of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree. Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's triangle. Inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensavern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. Whoa. Um. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request. Stop guessing. Just listen. <laughs> the time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. Great. So basically she told us that Ciri is the most important person that we, like, know. Or, yeah. And we should really, really, really take care of her. That's my understanding of it. So, um, what's, uh, what was the, that migration about? What was that about? The migration? Good gods. Did they teach you no history here? No. Vesemir figured sword work could be more useful on the path. Gonna answer me? Naturally. One's never too old to learn. Oh my god. The Seriously? The and the NN elves were once one folk, the N Undod. Then came a cataclysm. No one knows its nature. The N Undod were forced to leave their world. They split along the way. Mm -hmm. So if Uma's curse was uttered in this lathe and Undod... Then it's old. Very, very old. But that means that... What? But th this is a language that nobody uses anymore, so... Like, who would use this language? Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Yeah, I, I kind of wish figured. everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar. What? Despite my asking you not what to. What do you mean? I don't understand what you're talking about. Don't really see why I should apologize. I know sorceresses expect me to bow down before them. So you refuse to bow and thumb your nose at them instead? Very mature. Oh, oh enough. Finish whatever it was you and the boys were planning to do. Then we'll begin. Okay, Yen. Damn. She can... she's a hard ass, I have to say. Well, guys. We're going to continue this one in the next uh, episode. I'm going to stop it here for now. We're going to go talk to Lambert and then uh, journey to the Circle of Elements and see what that's all about. And then we'll, of course, have to find Eskel and help him find uh, hunt the Forktail. Maybe we can actually do something in the meantime somewhere else. I have, I'll have a look. Uh, I'll have a look around here and and see what else we can uh, we can do. Like I said, I kind of want to. Uh, start looking for the wolven gear as well. Uh, we don't have... Okay. Not much to go now for level 25, so that's good. Cool. So, uh, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.